I have a pair of gloves. A pair of gloves that's quite a special pair of gloves. I'm bothering to show you these because these are the gloves that are going to go into the gauntlets uh, on my suit of armour. And they are a new thing for me. They are a bespoke pair of gloves made by hand for me. I traced around my hand onto a piece of paper. I took various measurements, sent them to the glove makers, and they have put this together for me. They're made out of deer skin, they are unlined, and they are what uh, a knight uh, would have worn. Uh, I wanted to go the extra inch, you see. Now, I could, of course, have bought a pair of reasonably in the style of leather gloves and sent them to the uh, uh, the, the armourer, but I wanted to go just the extra inch, you know, because a knight of the period would have had this sort of glove. And you try finding unlined deerskin, etc, etc, gloves uh, on the high street. Uh, you, you, you won't. Um, and because I have perhaps slightly unusually shaped hands, uh, gloves never fit me terribly well. When I look at these gloves, they look ridiculously slim on my hand, uh, but I think this is because I've just never seen bespoke, really tight, purpose-fitting uh, gloves on my hand before. If I if I show you, uh, the, you know, the usual high street glove, it's got these big fat fingers that, you know, one size fit absolutely everyone, no matter how chubby your fingers are, you're going to get in here somehow. And though some of my fingers, like that one for instance, are rammed up against the end of the... Uh, that, there's a pocket of... of you see the little finger's too long. I've got a, a, a just a flabby bit of unused glove at the end there, and as I touch here, I'm touching a, a web of of material that stretches between my my thumb and my my uh, index finger. Whereas here now, I'm touching me. I'm touching the, the the leather is on on my thumb there, 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 right the way into there, and all the way up the side. These fit properly. Uh, I think um, an unusual thing about uh, my hand is that, that that measurement there between the, the knuckle and the, and the inside of the thumb is perhaps longer than it is on most people. So I've never felt uh, a pair of gloves like this on my hand before. They, uh, I feel so much more dexterous uh, in them. And uh, so they weren't cheap though, as you can imagine. Uh, these were £84. £84 for a pair of gloves, vastly more than I've ever paid for a pair of gloves before. Um, and I made a video which I showed to my patrons uh, in which I asked them uh, how they think I should be spending their money and I'm glad to say that they overwhelmingly answered the way I was hoping that they were going to answer, which is that uh, they want me to, to go for the high-end stuff. They don't want me to be a skinflint. Each of them is putting in one or two dollars typically, some more, but typically one or two dollars. And for that, they want to be able to see, you know, the best stuff that that, that, that I can get. So they didn't want me to, to, to buy the cheap gloves. They wanted me to buy the expensive stuff. Um, and uh, so I'm about to put these in the post to the armourer and uh, he will then have these to work from to make gauntlets that fit me. I had them put the seams on the outside, outseam gloves, uh, which I thought would make them easier to repair if ever they needed that. I wouldn't need to take them off the gauntlets and then turn them inside out. There is a problem with these gloves and that is that they are just so nice! I may find it difficult to go back to, to ordinary non-bespoke gloves. Uh, they do they smell really nice as well. Of course, that perhaps won't last forever, but new leather smells so nice. I know a couple of people who have actually taken jobs in, in leather working shops, so they claim, because they just wanted to work in an environment that smelt like that, because, oh, anyway, they're just, ha oh. <laughs>